Hello everyone and welcome to the Alpha Particle Builder tutorial. With this feature you can apply particles to an alpha layer or a logo. So to get started we'll import this PSD file I have here which has some elements with alpha. We'll want to import it as a composition and retain the layer sizes and we'll also make sure Photoshop sequence is unchecked. So we'll click on import and again composition with the retain layer sizes and this time merge layer styles into footage. Now we can go ahead and load our alpha composition it's created. And if I go ahead and solo this layer here, which is the logo for Motion Factory, you can see we have a nice transparent background with an opaque logo. This is basically alpha, the transparency part. And since we have just a small area with our opaque logo, we can apply an alpha particle system to have a cool animation effect. So to apply this, we'll just select the layer we want to apply it to. And over in Particle Builder, we'll find something that has an alpha. So you can see this one has the alpha function. So I'll go ahead and select alpha. And it's going to generate our particle composition for us. And I'll go ahead and preview this in the main composition to see how it looks. And as you can see, we have a pretty cool look with our particles on our logo. Let's go ahead and tweak the settings to create a different look. So if we go back into the generated composition, you can see we have a start time and end time marker. So if we wanted it to be delayed a little bit, we could go ahead and move the start time. And we can also move the end time to make it quicker. And as you can see, there's a null called control settings. And this contains all of the particle settings, such as hue, the amount of particles, the wind, etc. And this is actually the same settings that are in Particle Builder called Particle Settings. So if we select the bottom composition here and click on Particle Settings, it'll bring up all of the same settings we saw from our null object. So let's go over them real quick. By clicking on Default, it will set all of the values of your particles back to the defaults. And that also includes the start and end time. If we change the hue color, we can actually change the color of the particles. So you can see we now have more red particles. We can also change the amount of particles. So if, say, you're taking up too much memory, maybe, we could reduce them down. Or if you just want less detail, and we'll click out of there to change it. We can change the size of the particles. You can change the life, which is how long they're on screen. So if you wanted a really short life for the particles, we could do, say, 1. The wind X will determine how fast they're moving on the X axis, which is the horizontal axis. So we can increase this to say 300 or so. And that's going to push them further off this way. We can change the wind Y, which is the vertical axis. So if I increase this to maybe negative 50, it's going to spread them out a little bit more. And finally, the wind Z is for the Z space, which is basically the depth. So we can make the particles really deep if we want to. And that's just going to add more depth to our particle system. We also have the speed of the particles, which is how fast they're going to be moving. So if we want them just to blast off, we can say maybe 3.5, 4.5. And you can see that's a huge difference. They're going to be shooting out. So we'll want to be kind of cautious with how we use this. So let's just set it back to maybe Two. And that's still a bit too much, so we'll say just one again. And finally, we have destruction. So this will actually destroy the logo in this case, or destroy whatever element you're attached to. So if I deselect it, you can see the logo is just not going to appear at all. But if I check destruction, it's going to animate the destruction of our layer along with the particles. And one final cool feature included with Particle Builder is that we can keyframe any of these particle values. So let's go ahead and keyframe the amount. We'll start off at say 50, set the stopwatch, set a keyframe, and if we hit U, you can see we have our amount slider right here. And let's say we get to one frame. Let's increase the particles here to about 200 for a few frames. And we'll go a few more frames and set them back to 50. And as the destruction isn't happening right here, I'll go ahead and move the start time over. And I'll also change the end time so it goes on faster. And I'm going to go ahead and crank 200 up to about 500. 
and it's really you just got to tweak the settings until you find the look you're looking for so I'll go ahead and I'm going to increase all of the keyframe values here so now let's go ahead and preview this in our main composition so as you can see we have a small pause and then our particles appear and the logo is destroyed and dissolved with it and that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed that's how you use the alpha particle system inside of particle builder